Hi yo, good morning everyone, it's me Gaming Rivalry here and we are going to continue playing Max Monster. Last time we tried to call Max because he was crying, I kind of forgot what happens next. Oh yeah, we're trying to find her mom in some sort of things that can be used for her as a toy I guess. Magic tar wouldn't work actually so let's see what we can do here. Select your destination, let's go here. Destination is Salvage Yard. Is this where you want to go? Yes, there's nowhere else to go. You know, life is easier when you have nowhere else to go. <laughs> because you know where to go next. As long as you're still driven to living, I guess. There's a lot of some shiny stuffs here. We can only pick up shiny stuffs, I guess. We can only interact with shiny stuffs. Hey, check this out. What do you think this is? Um, couldn't tell you. Hey kid, does this thing look like fun to you? Um, is it a DVD? Does it have cartoons on it? DVD? Cartoons? I don't know what that, what those words mean, but I'm guessing this ain't what we're looking for. So, did you just throw it away or something? How about this? Is this a toy? Well, my cat would consider that as a toy, I guess. <laughs> Seriously, bro? You don't know what that is? Man, you gotta stop eating nothing but magic tar all the time. You mean you recognize this thing? Y yeah, man, it's called a fish. Though, that's that one is already half eaten. They're not just human food, some monsters eat them too. Oh, so it's a type of food. Hey, kid, you wanna eat it? <laughs> nuh -uh. Ayo, is that a drone? Looks like something else just fell down. Okay, how about this? <gasps> no way! It's a toy rocket ship! Jackpot, so that's what a toy looks like. What's a rocket ship? They go whoosh and fly up into outer space! Outer space? Yeah, like where all the stars and planets are at the heck she is talking about? Sounds like it's some sort of vehicle I, uh, I, I'm struggling to pronounce that <laughs> that can take you to this outer space place. Dang Roy, I'm surprised you managed to understand all that. So how do they work? Like this? Mm, whoosh, whoosh, mm, -uh. Rocket ships gotta go up high into the sky. Like this? Yeah, yeah. Wow, she's having a blast already. These toy things really are something. Maybe we can use that thing to calm her down if she looks like she might start crying in the middle of a battle. It's the healing item! <laughs> Who would have known that? Hey, what are you, what do you actual think you were doing? Oh, it's a big guy. Not bigger than Roy though. This is my turf! Who said you could just waltz into my salvage yard? I don't know who you think you are, but I'm gonna teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Looks like we got trouble on our hands. But hey, look at the bright side. This could be the perfect opportunity to test out that toy we just found. Okay. We'll be learning about items. Territorial punk appear. You guys are that me! Take this! Territorial punk came out swinging. Wow, that's half of the damage taken. By using toys command, Roy can refill max health bar. Note that each toy can only be used once per battle, but if max health falls to zero, it's game over, so be sure to make good use of them. Okay. Look at this! Whoa, it's going upwards to the space! Wow, that looks so fun! Hey, asshole! You stole that thing from my turf, didn't you? This ain't your turf, pal. Fine, if that's how you want to play. play. Territorial Punk started digging through the scrap. Let's attack! That barely did something. Territorial Punk dug up a box cutter from the scrap. Start slashing it around wildly. Whoa! I see how it is. Maybe I can find something to use around here too. We got a command that is actually affected by the location we're at. That's cool, that's cool. 
couldn't find anything, Roy decided to just do a normal attack instead. Yeah, that's really lame. Life changing, I guess. <laughs> Let's do the sca scavenge again. Sturdy stick. What a nice stick, sturdy but easy to swing. You, a lot of damage. Tutorial Punk dug up an electric drill from the scrap. We can figure out how to use it. Let's gacha again, I guess. Looking through the scrap, he's scoring the scrap heap very carefully. Oh yeah, I got a good feeling about this one. Sometimes enemy will use more powerful attacks than usual. Often, oftentimes, these attacks will be signaled one turn in advance. If you sense oncoming danger, use guard to protect yourself. Great events. Will the enemy bluff though? Will that be a thing in the future? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Swung hard with this spike bat. Okay, that hurts. Let's revenge again. Soccer ball! Yo, we play soccer now! Shoot the ball in the enemy! Sturdy stick. 64 damage. Once again. Soccer ball. Oh no! Shit! Let's revenge. I hope. Heck is this? Is it even edible? Open the can and fed it to me. <laughs> Luckily, it hadn't expired yet. <laughs> Yo, we're having Yugi's power. Believe in the heart of the trash. They're right. I've got to believe in the cards like my friends believe in me. Box cutter. What? Let's attack. Damn it. I hate to admit it, but you were a better scavenger than me. <laughs> yes, this turf belongs to you now. Yeah, believe in the heart of the trash. Here's the deed to the land. Take it. Wait, so it really was his turf? You won the battle. Roy's attack increase. Roy's defense increase. Max heart got stronger. We can now use super punch. Well. Guess that's that. We've got what we came for. Guess we'd better head into town and ask if anyone's seen other, another human lately. I'm tired. Excuse me? How can you be tired when I'm the one who did all the work? Now, now, Roy, simmer down. We don't want to make, 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 <laughs> make, make start crying again. You've got to remember that humans have weak little bodies compared to you and me, especially the kids. Guess we'll have just well just have to head home for the night. We can go us around for tomorrow. And that's how we end the day, I guess. This stuff belongs to you. Thank you. I there's nothing that caught my attention, so you can have this uh, turf certificate back. Bye bye. Okay, there's nowhere else to go again. Destination home. Is this where you want to go? Yep. Sure, sure. Maybe we can put more toys inside. Okay, let's play soccer. So you just kick it around, I guess. Okay, right, you stand over there. <laughs> Alright. Here it comes. Just gotta kick it, right? Begging your pardon? No. No, it's this guy. Oh, I see. I don't suppose you were this Roy Velo I've been hearing about. So what if I am? Allow me to introduce myself. You may call me Gustav. We receive a rep report that you've been harboring a human child. It's a most unusual case, so I was hoping to inquire as to why you intend to do what you intend to do with her. Ah, uh, sure, whatever. But as you can see here, we're kind of in the middle of something right now. Can it wait until we're after we're done? Oh, pardon me. My apologies, good sir. In that case, I shall stand here and wait until you have finished. All right, let's get our heads back in the game. Here it comes, Mac. Goodness, you have a mighty strong kick, sir. 
<laughs> oh, you must be more careful if that hit had hit the girl, it could have ended her badly indeed. Man, it's hard to control the amount of force I put in. Wow, Roy, that was cool! But I can't even see where the bell the ball went. Or you not allow me to go and fetch it for you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Minister. <laughs> Is he really the minister? Is the member of the four council? Okay, this time I'll get it right. Remember, don't just kick it as hard as you possibly can. Ah. No, no. You need to learn to have more control over the ball. Man, this is way too tough. I'll go fetch it again. <laughs> I'll go get the ball. No. Done. What's the matter? Children must never go running out in the road, especially not to chase after a stray ball. You must first look both ways to ensure there are no oncoming cars. Are there cars in the underworld? Oncoming what now? <laughs> uh, oh. My apologies. I'm not quite sure what came after over just me as now. Well then, I, uh, I suppose I won't bother you two any further today. Huh? The hell was with that? <laughs> Guys do! Uh, exactly. You get a new toy. Soccer ball. So... What did he do again? <laughs> okay, when you see a green icon above a location on the world map, you can go there for an optional event. Please be aware that progressing the main story may cause some of this event to disappear. So it's basically a side quest. We might be able to meet the green guy again. I forgot his name. To be exact, I didn't check his name. <laughs> oh, hey. Look who's back. Uh, shouldn't I be the one saying that to you, Paul? Thought you said this is my turf now. Eh. <laughs> Oh, come on, don't be like that. The guy's gotta find some stuff to eat somehow, right? Well, he got a point there. Not everyone can just gorge themselves on magic tart like you, bro. Yeah, whatever. So you're looking back from here, looking for food, huh? Yeah, mostly food. Maybe something I could sell for a quick buck in town. You don't say. A person! Let's sell that person! Oh my god! What is it? Look at what just fell down. We got us a human, boys! Uh... Mac, why don't you look the other way for a while? Huh? But why? Just do it! Uh, here, take these! Uh, hey, crayons! Yeah. Take these and go draw something over there, will ya? Okay. Okay. This is scribbling on the fridge. So that's what a human looks like, huh? Yes, it's kind of the same shape as her, though I feel like it's a whole lot bigger. Okay, come to Papa. Wait, where are you dragging that thing off to? Gonna take into town and try to sell it, duh. Obviously, they're, they are worth more alive, but this one is in pretty good shape still. Should still fetch a high price. Wait, don't tell me, I already know what you're gonna say. You're right, this is your turf now, I suppose. Fine. Yes, this corpse is rightfully yours. Uh, no, we don't want it. You can just have it. Just go. Seriously? No, uh, wait. Why? I mean, couldn't we just sell it for cash ourselves? Just let him have it, bro. If we keep that thing, it's just gotta make Mac cry. You think? Yeah, man, it's all yours. <laughs> well, really, thanks. So there are actually a lot of humans that will fall down here. We gotta be more careful not to let Max see anything to messed up down here. 
Man, humans here are complicated. Hey kid, come on, we're living! What did you just draw? Okay. Let's see. It was this. It's my mummy. Wow, so this is what we've been looking for. Gotta say, she looks a lot dorkier than ex expected. No, she doesn't. She's right, seriously. I mean, just look at her, dude. Girl, she is not dorky. Stop it, Rai. You better apologize before she starts crying. Take it back. Uh, uh, hey, come on, kid. Don't get all upset. Didn't mean it like that. In fact, a second look, she's actually very, uh... See, she's very pretty. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, she's a pretty, pretty, pretty lady. You should see. Yeah, totally. Man, that was close. <laughs> a monster learning how to please a human child. Very pretty, very pretty. Let's see the main quest here. We cannot go back to the salvage yard anymore. So let's go to the monster village. Monster village. Ah, Lord Gustav, are you headed out? Indeed, I must lend an ear to the needs of my people. While also keeping a keen eye out for any neutrality pack violators. Good on you, sir. Be, be safe out there. Hey, yo, that looks cute. Is he selling salad? Do they eat themselves? Looks like monster meat in there. Anyway, welcome. I am <laughs> not welcome. How are you, uh, Spud? Spud? I forgot your your name. Sorry. Oh, hey there, Mr. Roy. Fancy running into you here. <laughs> oh, see any humans here? Uh, humans? Other than that little girl there, you mean? No. Can't say I have. Sorry, I can be much of, much of a help. But take it from me, mister. I don't think it's a real good idea to go around keeping humans for as pets. You know, folks don't really don't take kindly to humans down here after all. But why do we hate humans? What do you mean, why? Obviously, it's because... Uh, come to think of it, I actually don't remember. But listen, pal. Even if little guys might be willing to look the other way, that don't mean this console is just gotta turn a blind eye to it. The console? What? You mean you don't even know who the consoles are, mister? They're like the four supreme rulers of the underworld, pretty much. And never met a guy who lives down here that's never even heard the console before. But if they find out you're walking around being all buddy buddy with a human, they'll probably have some choice of words for, for, just for your information. So, uh, who are you again? <laughs> I came by your place yesterday, remember? We were all like, hey, let us eat that little girl you got there and whatnot. Sorry about that little fiasco. <laughs> but you'll be happy to know I've turned over a new leaf. If there's anything I can do to make it up to you, just let me know. Okay, thank you, Spot. I actually remember you. Hey, Paul, can I get you something to eat? Uh, seen any humans around here? Heck, you're walking around with one right now. You're saving her for emergency rations or what? Now, I haven't seen any other humans around these parts lately. Just don't come falling down here very often, you know. That's why you can sell them for big bucks if you're lucky enough to capture one. Why do humans fall down here? Is this actually the hell? Magic tar? You think I just got a bucket of that, of that lying around? You seriously eat that stuff? I mean, to each their own, I guess, but... Man, sure does seem crazy to me. Okay. Thanks for your information. There's no shiny stuff that I can interact with, so I can only interact with uh, the the people, the monsters. Why? Hello there. Might I assist you with anything? Seen any humans? Or... Humans. I think there's really only one human I see on regular basis. Uh, who's that? A man by the name of Paul. 
as you know, most humans who are unfortunate enough to end up down here, well, they don't last long before getting gobbled up, to put it bluntly. However, there is one man who's been a great help to us all and has thus been given a free pass, as it were. He helps us out? Oh, all the time. You know, of the countless human devices that are always falling down into our selfish shards, of course, he often helps to repair them back into working condition and even teaches us how to use them properly. Oh, a butterfly. He has helped me out personally on more than a few occasions. Why, just the other day he repaired a device for me that converts water into boiling hot water. No, Mac, where are you going? Stay here! Stay put! But I'm afraid that's just one that one's not for sale, just to be clear. Sorry to this point. So where can we find this guy? My apologies, I'm afraid I don't know where he lives. What? But you just said he helps you out all the time. Only when happens to come through town, I'm afraid. And there's really no telling when he might show his face again. Though if you really need to know where the man lives. Word on the street is that the council been digging around about him in recent weeks. So perhaps they might be privy to that information. Privy, privy. How do I <laughs> pronounce that? What is it, Roy? Should we just pop up? <laughs> I don't know, man. That sounds like a huge pain, huge pain in the ass. I just want to get this offer so we can... Huh? Hey, what happened to the kids? He's not here. Oh, shit. You're right. I swear she better not be off getting ready to cry somewhere. Well, I... I see where he went to, but let's talk to this monster first. No time to talk right now, we've gotta find the kid before she starts crying. Why don't you look inside here? It, it's as if you know she is coming here, coming to the east. So you truly don't have any ladders for sale, huh? Come on, Hoss. That's what I've been telling you this whole time. Hey, where's the butterfly, huh? Where's the butterfly? Why did it become a, such a huge monster? Where'd you go, little butterfly? Oh, what do we have here? Hey, I remember you. You were that human kid. Ah, yes, I've met her too. She's the little girl who's been living with that Roy fellow. Roy? Wait, where's Roy? Well, well, well. <laughs> Are you lost, little girl? Or did he abandon you? Too bad, looks like there's no one to stop me from meeting you now. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I have some questions for the child. I'm afraid I must ask you to come with me, little one. <laughs> hey, there she is! Oh crap, she's totally about to start crying! Hey, Monroy, maybe you shouldn't get too close. Hey, hey, kid, come on, don't cry. Nothing to cry about, see? Right? <sighs> that was close. Don't go wandering off by yourself like that. Scared the hell out of me! Roy, you came! Goodness, Roy. Seems you and a human have grown quite attached. Oh, you're that guy from yesterday. No, I did like that, man. Thing is, if this kid cries... Wait, Roy. This is Gustav, bro. He's a member of the, con the council. You might want to watch your words. Huh? Oh, for real? You're a council member? Hey, you know where this Paul guy lives? What you tell us? You wish to speak with Paul? Hmm, interesting. How about this then? I know not what business you might have with Paul, and I neglected to ask you what your true intentions were yesterday as well. So I propose a duel. If you win, I will tell you Paul's whereabouts. If I win, you and that ch child will accompany me to our headquarters and tell me everything I want to know. Okay, deal. Did, are you sure about this? I mean, Gustav's the only council member I know, so I don't know who else we could ask either, but people say he's the toughest monster there is, bro. And he sure as hell looks like it, too. What are you two mumbling about? Enough talk. Have at you.
I mean, losing is not particularly, particularly, uh, what is it called? We don't have any negative impact for losing. We just gotta tell him what we are intend to do, intending to do with Mac. Once you have learned a few different types of attack, you'll be able to select one of the choosing attack. Keep in mind that more powerful attacks cost more skill points. You'll regain one SP for each turn you don't use an attack that costs SP. So we still cannot use that because we don't have SP. So we need to build up the SP first. Roy punches the enemy. Stop attacks. Okay. There's no like mini explanation of what this do. Okay then. Mighty blow, its name. Iron fist. Mm, you know, we'll, we'll do things like this. Soccer ball. And then use mighty blow. That's not a lot of buff. That's like a really minor buff. Okay, let's heal then. Hmm. Well, Roy, seems I owe you an apology. Huh? For what? It appears that I underestimated your abilities. It has been quite some time since I last faced off against a proper opponent, you see. If we both unleash our true power here in public, there is no telling what might happen. So perhaps we should call it a draw for now. Thank you. I'm also out of toy to cheer makes make up. Thanks for your understanding, Mr. Council Member. Good stuff. Wait. What, you're just gonna throw in the towel? Yes, I don't mind. I will tell you where Paul lives, just as we agree. You learn where Paul's house is. And with that, I will now take my leave. Yay. Yeah. The trash can clips through his cloaks. I mean, coat. I, I don't know what that is. What that thing calls. Is called. I don't know what that thing is called. I'm sure our path will cross again. Just do me a favor and stay out of trouble until then. Until then. <laughs> that guy hardly even broke a sweat. Yeah, well, look on the bright side. At least we got the info we, who we were looking for. I mean, where are we? <laughs> I cannot read this. I don't know why. I cannot read this text properly. I'm sorry, guys. And we found Mac too, two birds, one stone. Now what do you say we go pay this Paul guy a visit? No, I'll visit this guy first. What's your name? You look cool. You you look like Will from Stardew Valley. Howdy. Ain't seen your face around these parts yet before. Don't normally do business with folks, I don't know, but you probably would have been stuck dealing with Gustav all night if you all hadn't show up. So I guess I owe you one. Anything I can do for you, folks? Just say a word. About Maximum, you're looking for that little girl's mother. Sorry, I don't think I can help you with that. And what is this place? It's just a little back alley mercantile dealing in wares you can't find nowhere else if you catch my drift. Though, of course, we don't got nothing illegal here. Perish the thought. So, can you show me what you sell? Ooh, that big luck. It's one of the council members that called the shots. I hear there's four of them in total, but I only know Gustav. Yeah, Sam. Don't think I've heard, haven't heard of the others. Well, here's a big old brute that sticks out like a sore thumb. thumb. Always out patrolling the town, investigating stuff to make sure we're all on the up and up. It's annoying though, I tell ya. Keep trying to accuse me of hiding a ladder here earlier. Why? Why is he trying to spine later? He, is he trying to go to the human world? Is, is he really a, that obsessed with human? This thing you can climb up. But why would the higher up even need to impose regulation on the use of those things? 
beats me. And just ladders though, ropes, grappling hooks, pretty much anything that helps you move upwards they control with layers and layers of red tape. Get to buy like 4 separate applications to legally own one, and that's if you get approved. Well shoot, I can't read alright, so I guess there goes my chance. So, uh, do you have a ladder? Ta-da! <laughs> it's behind this plank. Don't tell anybody you got that. Well, thank you. Now I know where I can take Mac back just by using that la ladder, I guess. Did you really just beat Lord Gustav? Remind me to never pick a fight with you again. Yes, don't eat my share of human me. That door leads to the chamber of the High Underworld Council. The council is very busy right now. They don't have time to deal with the likes of you, so beat it, alright? Excuse me, I'll beat your ass! We'll cut it out, man! Don't make a big scene. If we draw the council's attention, they'll kill Mac Mac for sure. Look at his face. Huh? I'm going to get killed? No. And let's go to Pulse then, I guess. Wait. There she is. I finally found her. Okay, we got one more uh, side quest and one uh, red mark. Well. Probably we will try to do this first and we'll do the red mark in the next episode since it's been about 30 minutes now Let's go home Do we have another toy for Mac? Anyway, we got one new furniture. I just noticed What is this? What do you mean? It's magic tar, obviously. Tastiest stuff in the whole damn world. Well, that's uh, up for debate, I think. Okay. Is there really nothing else we can do here? No shiny stuff or something? Bro. <laughs> I guess that's it for today now. We'll continue in two days, I guess. Actually, there's no green sign in this one, so... Yeah, we'll continue later, I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in! See you guys later, bye-bye.